We are gathered here today in the presence of God and in the sight of each other as witnesses to celebrate the marriage of Gavin and Emily. While we're on this mission trip, we went with the purpose of building up the church that was already established there. Both of them worked tirelessly on that trip, and much good was done to glorify God. They weren't dating at the time, but they knew each other from school. We come back from the trip, and on graduation day, Gavin's graduating, and, and I go to graduation, and I'm talking with both of them, and they walk up to me and they go, we got something we gotta tell you. And I'm, I'm okay. What, what is that? Gavin goes, uh, we're dating. <laughs> I gave them the only professional response that I could at the time. Well, duh. <laughs> it's important for that story to be told because it tells you how that relationship started. Now, did they know each other as friends? Yes. But it was solidified when they were doing God's work. Emily, you are my everything, the love of my life, my best friend. I could tell you how much I love you, and I will, but I couldn't begin with anything other than how much I love you as a person. I've never had anyone who simultaneously makes me want to be, to grow and be better, but also someone who I can be unapologetically myself. I'm thankful for your grace and Christ, and I know there will be times you fall short too. I vow to give grace liberally. I don't know the plans God has for us, but I'm thankful it's us. When it's all said and done, you and I can hold hands as we walk through the pearly gates and down the streets of gold. Emily, come what may, I vow to love you forever. I remember the first few times that I saw you at Freed. <laughs> Little freshman me developed such a big crush on <laughs> grumpy senior Gavin. <laughs> and I never thought that anything would happen with it. I remember thinking about how cute you were and how I would do anything to be able to talk to you. Since the moment we first started talking, I knew that you were something special. You were understanding and you were kind. You were eccentric and sarcastic <laughs> and sweet and funny and driven. From then on to now, I've never stopped admiring you. I've never stopped loving you and loving the time that I get to spend with you. Thank you for putting up with me so far, and I vow to put up with you forever. To grow old with you, <laughs> to tell our kids and our grandkids of our love story, and to remind everyone of what God did for me because he gave me you. Gavin, I vow to be your wife and to never stop loving you. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come to ask for your blessings upon Gavin and Emily. We thank you for their family and the friends who have been there for them and with them. We thank you for those who have guided them as they gave their lives to you as Christians. May they all continue to be a support and a strength as Gavin and Emily start their lives together. Heavenly Father, we know that you have a plan for their lives and we know that you love them. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. Gavin and Emily, having proclaimed your love for and commitment to one another in the sight of the Lord and of these witnesses, it is my pleasure, by the power vested in me by God in the state of Tennessee, to pronounce you husband and wife. Gavin, you may now kiss your bride.
been a while since we felt the way we did back when we were dumb and younger it's been a while since i looked into your eyes and saw starlight bold bright colors yeah when i'm down when i'm dry 